Good evening, Great River Elementary community. I'm David Nunez, I use he, him pronouns, and I'm the interim head of school at Great River this year. And I'm so excited to welcome you to tonight's back to school events. Unfortunately, I can't be in six places at once, and so I recorded this message for you tonight for each of the guides to play in their classrooms. Thanks to each of the guides for making time for me. We've all been working very hard these last weeks and months, and honestly, that is very reflected in the fact that our first week has gone so splendidly. If the last week has shown me anything about GRS, it's about how much our students and staff are enjoying rebuilding community after so long apart. I'm new, of course, and so all of this is new to me, but for me, it's been a wonderful two and a half months so far, meeting the staff, meeting the students, getting to know the building and the whole culture here at GRS. I'm excited to also share with you, if you haven't had a chance to meet and talk with me, that I'm not just the head of school, but I'm also a Great River parent. My son will be a seventh grader this year and my stepchild will be a sixth grader here at Great River. One thing I do wanna share with you tonight is our communication plan for the year. One thing we know about our equity focused work here at Great River is that we have to ensure that students and caregivers feel well informed about what's happening here at the school. We regularly communicate through a several different channels. First of all, we have our announcement blogs. Our announcement blogs are hosted at our website, greatriverschool.org slash announcements. And we regularly update these pages with non-urgent school announcements, upcoming events, activities, volunteer opportunities, etc. This year, we're also using an email service that go along with the announcement blogs. So you will receive an email daily updating you on what's gone on, what's happened on the blog. Now we've opted all families into this communication, but should you choose not to receive the daily emails, um, you can certainly unsubscribe using the link at the bottom of the daily update. You can always check what's being posted then by just going straight to the announcement blog and checking in periodically. There's an elementary announcements, grade one through six, and then there's also a lower adolescent and an upper adolescent announcement blog. If you're not receiving these updates, please email office at greatriverschool.org to troubleshoot. It's possible that we don't have your correct email address updated in PowerSchool. Also, we use direct emails. So in the case of some sort of urgent communication, you, communication, you will receive an email directly from me, David Nunez, or perhaps Stacy Krieger, or the Great River School with more information. Also, we're going to be using family newsletters as we have in the past. GRS sends monthly communications to families, usually on the first Monday of the month, with some exceptions, depending on the school calendar, of course. These new letter, newsletters are to feature student accomplishments and the events at the school. If you don't receive these messages, again, reach out to office at greatriverschool.org and make sure your contact information is, up, is updated and correct. Also, we're on social media. So Great River maintains a Facebook and Instagram and Twitter pages. And we don't maintain or supervise the GRS family Facebook pages, but there are several of those as well. There's a Great River School Community page, all levels. Um, there's a Great River Elementary Parents page, page. And then there's a page for both lower and upper adolescent parents as well that are maintained and uh, moderated by parents, I believe. So now, thank you for listening to me and taking a moment to think about all of this and let us know, like I said, if you're not receiving any of this communication, because we want to be sure that you do get it. Um, but I will hand the mic uh, back over to uh, the guide in your classroom. And uh, do feel free, of course, um, to answer any question, to ask any questions that you might have of me. Feel free to send me an email or give me a call. And I'm more than happy to get back to you as quickly as I possibly can. There have been a lot of emails here at the beginning of the school year, but I am getting back to people as quickly as I can on a range of different topics. So thank you all for reaching out to me and thank you all for coming tonight.